So doctor, please explain. I have a lot of avatar settukula nolanjamari irukku. Explain what is this? It is used in the treatment. Uh, this is a linear excitor actually. Uh, this is a, uh, the, the name is called True Beam. Okay? Okay. A dual energy machine with electron energies. So when uh, the radiation strikes or the electron strikes the target, then what exits out from here is the radiation. And uh, this is the, what do you call the head of the machine, which they call it. This is the head and this is the body of the machine, which has two uh, either, either side uh, imaging device. Okay. The idea is that when you treat this uh, patient, which is on the couch, this is a 60 couch we have, which you have a uh, couch, is a carbon fiber couch. What we do is we immobilize the patient with uh, this kind of a thermoplast. Okay. okay. And uh, this thermoplast for head and neck is separate, for the pelvis is separate. Actually, this is like um, something like this uh, uh, initially. Okay, what we do is we put it in a, in a bath, in a hot water bath. And when you put it in a hot water bath and uh, it becomes flexible, it becomes elastic. So it takes the configuration of the body of the patient. And once it takes the configuration of the patient, it allows it to cool. Then it takes the same shape of the patient. So it becomes, you see, it's something like a rigid uh, material. And with this uh, aquaplast, we do the CT scan and we mark with uh, some kind of a uh, three points on the patient with uh, all the centers and all these things so that to, to align the lasers we have two lasers aside one laser top one laser uh, which will align the patient exactly in this in the position which you're supposed to treat and uh, once we have aligned the patient we know that this is exactly the position which you are supposed to treat and from that the x-ray emits out and the radiation is delivered so similarly the pelvis is like a pant okay he just puts it like a pant so he, he or she can't move from the from the position which you're supposed to be and this is the board in which is there which is graduated we know how much of uh, things to go inside the calculation is done by the physicist and uh, uh, stuff so this is how the carbon fiber crouch is will go inside um, i think franklin you can just show it inside just how to how the coach moves inside the uh, body and once the coach goes inside that is where the radiation is delivered and this is the two the x-ray i told you the x-ray facilities or a cone beam CT which will help us to take a photograph of the uh, image and once we get the grab the image of the patient then we know exactly where the position whether that the CT scan done on the first day and the uh, cone beam CT done on the uh, day during the treatment is exactly surprised we try to fuse it so once you have fused the images then you know exactly this is the place which you are supposed to treat and once we have decided that's a correct place of treatment then we find out what are the possible uh, the tumor area, the, the, the critical organ areas which are uh, drawn on the uh, uh, computer on the, on the day of the uh, planning. And once we have uh, know these places exactly where the, the critical organs are and the, and the uh, uh, tumor, then we uh, from outside we press the button and the radiation strikes and the machine goes in a 360 degrees angle or various angles to deliver the dose. The tumor will be somewhere here and the de delivery is taking place. So uh, this is kind of a system which is a high-end system where you know exactly where we are treating. It's something like um, a laser gun which you know exactly this is the point which the, the, the beam has to fire or the, uh, the gun has to fire. So we know exactly where we are treating. So this advantage is there in this uh, totally in this uh, technology which was not there about 20 years ago which we had just a cobalt machine with a head. Uh, which radiation emitted out and we were just forced to go by some parameters. Here everything is computerized, you have the couch going up and down, you can use a tilt in the couch, you can have a have a, you the various angles in which you can treat, you can even, you, what is called, you can even rotate the couch uh, on the right or the left. So when you do it on the right or left, you can change the position of the angle. It need not be a straight vertical angle, the radiation go in a particular angle. So these kind of technologies are useful for uh, high-end technologies. My team is my strength. I think it's time to introduce your team to us. Please. This is my entire team here. Hi. The physicists, the front office people, the, the doctors, the staff, my facility people who are looking after patient. Everybody is important. Because without this, I don't think there's a success in my treatment. Because I told you as a good, I may have a good doctor who been seeing patients, but the physicists and the technologists don't do a good job, neither the front office people don't receive the patients, neither the people keep the department clean, everything becomes a problem. So I feel the strength is the entire team. Teamwork, that's my spirit.
thank you thank you on behalf of entire patients ninga full smile oda evlo vishayangal irukku covid irukku so many things come in a day yes. so you hold that and we were smile. also telling you that entire covid we never broke one day Correct. never never stop treating patients i would actually thank these people who took the risk of coming all the way forget about a doctor who takes a risk but actually the paramedical staff need not take a risk they took the risk of coming all the way here to treat the patients it's an amazing thing. we should thank have given you. appreciation thank for you thank you so much for holding that smile for coming for us engalukaga neenga vandathu periya periya thank you on behalf of everybody i say thank you thank you all thank you so for therapy ku munnadi appo therapy ku appuram endha maathiriyana Uh, improvements case study sure definitely see uh, i am going to talk to you only one patient so that it, the impact that people should know that radiation is so effective in treatment of cancer this is basically a, a, a patient who came with a, a throat cancer it's called supraglottic tumor actually blocking the entire passage if you look at it the entire passage is blocked this is the air cavity you see the air cavity the air cavity is totally blocked the air cavity is, this is the growth you see the air cavity totally being blocked to the tumor so if the air cavity is blocked basically that man can't breathe understand when then you require a tracheostomy you have to put a pipe here and breathe through the pipe so we didn't want to do that because an elderly guy we didn't want to go through such kind of a, a kind of intense treatment i didn't want him to put him to a lot of suffering so what we did was to give one cycle of initial chemotherapy then started off with radiotherapy knowing that this is a time bomb in my in my whole treatment so i took the risk because that risk uh people have to take you say generally you are rewarded by the risk you take that is how the whole system plays the whole life plays okay the more the risk you take the more the benefits you get so that kind of a risk you can take only with experience you can't just take it a young man we a young radiation oncologist may not have taken the risk he would have just done a tracheostomy and got away with it but here i took the risk there was a node there was the tumor so this is the the second half of the whole show we did the radiation and we have taken pictures i told you we in the machine there is a cone beam ct where you can take a picture every day the picture of the patient so we took a picture orthogonal views you see the amount of gap the air cavity opened up and that makes a huge uh, difference in the response treatment so this guy got cured we did he come for a follow up after 8 weeks we did a pet scan for him it's a complete response so being a complete response that means he's completely cured of tumor that's something which is amazing man of 75 plus elderly man without a tracheostomy in going through this treatment without any hassles 6 weeks going through 6 weeks of treatment without any disturbances not having any form of problems is something which is good that's one one reason for that is also which i want to tell you that that in my talk positive thinking this guy had a positive attitude he said he will not have a tracheostomy he will go through the treatment he gave me the assurance that he will have his nutrition well maintained and he maintained his nutrition till now without a loss of not even 1 kg during treatment this is an amazing thing so this kind of technology is possible in radiotherapy it all depends on all a combined factor the combined factor is the patient's attitude the doctor's positive thinking everything puts into the nutshell to get the results so enikku na vande or life eppadi holistic ah paaknu eppadi vande namma செய்கிற விஷயத்தை கரெக்டாக செஞ்சோம்னா இந்த மாதிரி விஷயங்களுக்கெலாம் வராமல் இருக்கலாங்கிறது உங்ககிட்ட வந்து கற்றுக்கிட்டு நிறைய டேக் அவேஸ் ஃப்ரம் யூ ஐ லேர்ன் ஸோ மெனி திங்ஸ் தேங்க் யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் த டார் இந்த பிளேஸே ரொம்ப பாசிட்டிவாக இருக்குது தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் யுவர் டைம் டாக்டர் தேங்க் யூ இட்ஸ் அ ப்ளஷர் ஹேவிங் யூ டுடே இட்ஸ் அ கிரேட் ஆனர் ஃபார் அஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ரியல் இண்டீட் அ குட் டைம் இட் வி ஸ்பெண்ட் டுகெதர் ஸோ தட் த பப்ளிக் கெட்ஸ் எஜுகேட்டட் அபவுட் தி ஹோல் ப்ராப்ளம்